It's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction and analysis. Having just recently reacted to Eric Santos's version of Pogbagyang Muli as a song on Wish Bus, I'm excited to hear this same beautiful song in Morissette's voice. <laughs> different arrangement of this song than the version that I heard by Eric Santos. Then this kind of groovy, laid back, beat kicked in, totally different vibe. And I was immediately drawn to that and appreciative of that. Covers, there can be such an art to covers. Sometimes it's so wonderful to hear it as it was because it's amazing and it's an, in its original form. But on the other hand, it's so fun and so cool when people get creative with their reinterpretations. So right away, it was obvious this was going to be a very different version of the song. Now, as I mentioned, it has been a while since I've reacted to Morissette and I, f I feel like she's going like this to me right now. She's like, hello, remember me? She is sizzling, she is smoking, she is just delivering these low notes. Ooh, mama. Of course, I remember Morissette's incredible range, but oh gosh, I love hearing her drop down into these low notes. They are so warm and luxurious and silky soft. And I would say sultry too, pretty sexy sounding on the low end there of her range. Let's backtrack a little bit to hear some of these husky and dusky low notes again. <laughs> Yes, so what was that note? Oh yeah, it was an E. She's on an, she's on a low E on that note down there and it is just gorgeous, just dreamy. Uh, I could like float on that note. I feel like I'm on my back in like a heated pool when I hear that low E in her voice. You know, something else I'm just like really feeling, I'm just struck so quickly, having having not been with Morissette for a minute. Like, look at how she sings this first phrase. And then she's like, mm. she looks away for a second. I'm just feeling an incredible confidence from her. She has been doing this for a while and you can see that the years of experience have created a seasoned performer. She's just like in the music, she's feeling it, fully connected, and we've barely begun, and I'm already so in love with this performance. Let's keep going. There's that E again. <laughs>
So one thing that is similar with, with Eric's performance is how she treated this first chorus lightly. Rather than belting out these high notes in this chorus, she is doing a major flip into a falsetto-y head voice tone. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, like that. And knowing how Eric's performance just like grew, got bigger, got bigger, really, really huge, beautiful notes at the end. I'm looking forward to hearing Morissette just crank it out as we continue this song. Another thing that I was just watching through this section was I just really love how she uses her hands for expression. They're graceful, it feels very, very natural, and it's just selling the connection to the music. I'm enjoying those ribs too. This is Before we get into the next course, I'll just I'll just take a quick moment to point out one of the Morissette isms, which is she she's a growler, <sighs> and she is starting to bring in some of that Morissette growl into this part of the song where the intensity is starting to grow. Now we're starting to hear her get up into that more power range. I have a feeling this next course is just gonna soar. <laughs> What I got instead was a crazy riff. Amazing, I need to hear it again. And while I'm paused, I'll just also add that Morissette has already covered more than two octaves during the course of this song so far. <laughs> At about two and a half octaves now, and there's still about 50 seconds of this video left. Woo! <laughs> Wow, 
Wow, a lot of fire in that section there. If you watch my videos, you know that I would point out that a G is a doable note for a soprano, no problem, but it's only no problem when it's in the head voice. And that's gonna be a more pure, a pure tone, a classical tone, like that, no problem. But to do what she's doing, to mix that note, insanity insanity if you're watching my videos i talk about an e I, I talk about a d i talk about an e flat i talk about an e every now and then people are singing f's f sharp g what she is mixing a g Whew. not just once too she has sung that note multiple times in this section unbelievable that one in. You can tell it's a little giggle there. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. I loved how she went back to that softer, breathier, airier tone for that last little bit. So we have tremendous growth. She went to town. She went to town. Multiple mixed G's. And now she's releasing the spell. She's like caught us up in this whirlwind. And now she's releasing the spell. She's bringing us down to earth with that last little light angelic tone at the end with one little bonus riff just on the spot. It really felt like she just threw that in like, oh, why not? I can't resist. <laughs> let's, let's watch that last bit one more time. glad that I heard the original singer of this song singing this song first so that I could be familiar with it to help me appreciate so much more Morissette's version of this song. By the way, I also did, I also have listened since then to the recorded version by Eric, Eric Santos, which is quite different from the version that I heard on Wish Bus, which is quite different from this groovy, sultry version um, that we've gotten from Morissette here. So it's, it's nice to have to have some context to already be familiar with this song before hearing this version. I think Morissette is a singer where there is absolutely nothing she can't sing. Put any song in front of her, any range, any style, and she is going to destroy it in such a good way. Just again, reflecting on how it's been a while since I've heard her, I think she is another, she is another singer who has continued to really, really develop a rich, warm, soulful low end. Her voice here, and I know that she has covered Toni Braxton before, her voice on these low notes felt very Tony Braxton to me. And Tony Braxton is one of those incredible, deep, rich, husky, low end voices where those notes have so much magic down there. But also, man, Morissette can belt. 
she can go to town she's got the riffs i know she still has another octave up from where she went in this song that she didn't even use in this song she is she's a stunner she is a stunner let me know which other songs i need to add to my morissette playlist i hope you enjoyed watching this with me if you did please be sure to hit subscribe and if you'd like to see my other morissette reaction videos you can find them right here thanks so much and i'll see you next time